First, while obvious but worth remembering, use the correct lens length and add the depth of field to your scene. For a close-up shot like this, I use the 100mm lens length. Toggle the depth of field box, and since Blender 4.3, you can select your focus point directly. Adjust the f-stop, lower values create a shallower focus point, while higher values deepen the focus area. Second is the bevel node. It helps break up object edges without adding extra geometry. Simply connect it to your normal node on your shader node, increase the samples and set the radius to around 0.004. Even this seems low, it adds micro chamfers that catches light realistically. Make sure to apply the scale to your object with Ctrl A in object mode or the bevel won't render at your specified scale. Light sculpt your object. While you need multiple lights to make your object stand out, the positioning is crucial. You can place them manually, but I recently discovered an amazing plugin I now use constantly. It's called Light Wrangler, and it allows you to position your lights perfectly for highlighting a specific part of your model. It also lets you customize your light source and easily apply gobos and much more. I let you discover it in the link in description. Lastly, textures. While my object is a plain plastic, the surface on which it sits on is paper. That gives context to the scene, but looking at the paper grain, you can also understand at which scale the object sitting on this surface is. You can look online for PBR textures, but I mostly use the free add-on Blender Kit. With this add-on, you can easily search for a specific material, paper in this case, and drag and drop the material onto your model. Then you can edit it like any material by changing the scale of it. Here I add a value node to the free scale input to easily change the scale uniformly. Or add a UN saturation node at the base color to change the color. 